Now today we're going to see what happens if the NFL split up based on the first letter of their team's name. Now I did something like this a few months ago, but I used the first letter of their city's name. So for example, I put the Philadelphia Eagles on the P team, the Dallas Cowboys on the D team. But today I'm going to be putting the Eagles on the E team and the Cowboys on the C team. But first I got to shout out the newest members of the Birds Nest, Shadow Raven at level two, man. Shout out to you and Toby John. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Now back to the video. Now the only rule of the video is that every single team must have at least one starter. So let's get it started, man. There's no A team, but the B team is buzzing with a lot of talent. Burrow leading the way for the Bengals. The Bills, Browns, Bears, Buccaneers, and Broncos. Six teams on the B squad, man. You have Chubb from the Browns starting. Diggs from the Bills starting. Worth starting for the Buccaneers. Edmonds starting for the Bears and then Justin Simmons starting for the Broncos this team is looking stacked from top to bottom it's going to be a very tough team to beat 96 overall two juggernauts early on in the alphabet man we have the C team the Chiefs Cowboys Commanders Colts Chargers and Cardinals Patrick Mahomes starting for the Chiefs JT starting for the Colts Hopkins for the Cardinals Scary Terry for the Commanders Zach Martin Tyron Smith for the Cowboys and then a bevy of Chargers starting on defense like Derwin, Bosa, etc. Man, this team is also looking stacked. 97 overall, another contender. The D team is literally just the Dolphins. Okay, so Tua Tungavailoa leading the way. Tyreek Waddle, if they can do any damage in this video, I'm going to be surprised. I, I, it's going to be shocking because they're overall so much lower than these other juggernaut teams. Same with the E team, the Eagles, the only one representing this letter, man. They have a slightly higher overall than the Dolphins, but I still don't expect them to make too much noise in this uh, video, just because, once again, the other overalls on these combined teams are like in the 90s. On to the Fs. As you can see, that logo looks like an F. So I thought it'd be right to put the Falcons and the 49ers in ATL, man. Purdy leading away. He has a nasty two tight end set if he wants to use it. So many weapons on this team. Only an 88 overall, but I, I think they can progress up to a 90 by the end of the season and make some noise in the playoffs. Don't sleep on the Fs. The Gs are just the Giants, okay? So Daniel Jones and this 80 overall team is going to do their best, man. We'll see how far they can go. I'm hoping all of these teams can at least make the playoffs. There's 13 letters in this experiment, so they should all make it, you know, hopefully. So let's see if Saquon can get the G team to the postseason. Now, there's no H team, there's no I team, but there is a J. The Jets and the Jaguars combining to make an 85 overall team team not too shabby you know Rodgers of course that, that's a nice get for the Jets Lawrence would have been solid too it's kind of unfortunate for them that two guys who have abilities out of the handful of players on their team both play at the same position so that, that's kind of unfortunate you know they probably would have loved to spread that around a little bit now there's no K team but there is an L the Lions are the only team representing this letter hopefully they take a lot of W's instead during this simulation heavy reliance on Amonara a couple new rookies on the team cj gj man who knows what they could do there's no m team there's no n and there's no o but there is a p the patriots packers and panthers i put bryce young at a 79 overall usually when you're first pick you know that's around where they put you especially if you're a quarterback didn't give him abilities i don't know if they're going to give him abilities so yeah i just gave him star i think that's about fair you know anything from like a 77 to a 79 matt jones was the other option but i think bryce will come in with a higher overall yeah, man, Aaron Jones leading away at running back. You have Elin, Juju, Devontae, Hunter Henry, Gesicki. I mean, this team is solid. O-line very well-rounded. Defense, so many guys with abilities, man. They definitely sneak up on you. Now, there's no Q team, but we do have an R. The Ravens, Raiders, and Rams combining into a 91 overall, led by 91 overall Lamar Jackson, Jacobs, Devontae, Odell, Cooper Cup. Man, this team, even though they're not the highest overall, they might have have the most X factors on offense combined with even more guys with abilities on defense Aaron Donald Roquan Crosby they have the best kicker as well one of the best punters as for the S team we have the Steelers the Saints and the Seahawks Geno leading the way Kamara Kenneth Walker nasty running back core wide receiver core is one of the best in this video fire move very solid at tight end 87 overall man three teams combining to form that not too bad at all so many guys once again 
at least superstar on defense you know you have depth when the honey badgers not even started the t's have two teams the texans and the titans Tannehill is going to be their starter i didn't know what to do with stroud you know i, I didn't know if it'll be fair to put him at a 79 but it's the same difference one overall not that serious king henry leading the way you have robert woods schultz at tight end 81 overall you know not the best but crazier things have happened i i'd expect them to at least make it to the postseason i like their defense i, I think they might surprise some people so our last letter is going to be v with the vikings all right they're an 83 overall obviously jay jettas cook cousins osborne defense multiple guys with abilities now i have byron murphy at cb1 so we are ready to go ahead and sim all the way to the playoffs see where these teams ended up i'm hoping every single letter made it to the playoffs man like the video for good luck for your team to make it to the playoffs the b's made it the r's made it the j's c's p's t's oh no there's a there's an odd man out the broncos also made it even though we took all their good players the dolphins did not make it so the d squad is out first team in the afc that's definitely unfortunate for them but six out of our seven alphabet teams that we made in the afc ended up making it in the nfc the g's made it the e's the f's the s this is not the c's okay the cardinals do not have all their best players they all their best players are on the chiefs that's where the c team is the bears also made it even though they're not the b team the vikings the v's made it so our odd team out is the lions 5 and 12 the l team took way too many of those here's the b team stat 61 touchdowns for burr only five picks 5500 yards man that's a nasty season 76 percent completion percentage chubb 19 touchdowns 1200 yards and he had the third most yards per carry on the team behind burrow and mixon 3000 yard receivers this team is looking scary look at that 20 touchdowns for chase 17 for amari nine for Diggs for third on the team their offense is disgusting levante on defense leading the way and tackling four guys with double digits tackle for a loss three guys with double digit sacks vaughn sets the record with 25 sacks five picks for tredavious can the chiefs one up that no patch mahomes 19 less touchdowns than burrow also seven more picks so hey man we'll, we'll see if his uh production can skyrocket in the postseason 31 touchdowns for jt i'm pretty sure that's the record for the most rushing touchdowns in a season 1300 yards that's nasty that, that's absolutely j just nasty okay hopkins kelsey mclaurin all thousand yard receivers 13 touchdowns for keenan had a knack for getting to the end zone he led the team hopkins kelsey and then scary terry in the top four. Oh god parsons 25 sacks ties von miller they both break the record bosa chris jones also in double digits kendricks leads them in tackling another nasty team that i expect to uh do some damage in this playoffs so what had a pretty decent season 31 touchdowns 14 picks 4300 yards i'm guessing the run game was doing damage thousand yards for raheem moster 11 touchdowns jeff wilson tyreek 1300 yards 13 touchdowns waddle was less than 20 yards away from a thousand yard season baker led them in tackling sacks you had ogbo at 10 eight interceptions for ramsey to lead everyone man that's a pretty filthy season from him as for the ease jalen hurts 40 touchdowns five interceptions 4700 yards pretty freaking solid deandre swift 1100 yards nine touchdowns oh three fumbles i don't know about that one he definitely needs to take care of the football more 2000 yard receivers almost had a third one with goddard who was just over 20 yards away two double digit receiving touchdown guys on the team most sacks goes to son reddick 16 and a half he had four guys in double digits nicobe leads the way nolan smith edmonds all guys with 100 plus tackles and then big play slay with three picks to lead everyone on to the f's you had purdy with 34 touchdowns 10 picks 3500 yards a little bit less than what i was thinking but the run game was doing damage they had four solid rushing threats man you had mccaffrey of course 1481 yards 16 touchdowns debo patterson elijah with six touchdowns on the ground no thousand yard receivers so you know they're a running team that's a good formula to have in the postseason iuka led them in receiving warner 119 tackles to lead everyone grady jared 14 tags for loss bosa 22 and a half sacks almost gets the record two other guys with double digit sacks then he had warner with four picks just the ball hawk terrell at three the g squad had daniel jones playing like a g 36 touchdowns only nine picks 4400 yards man that's a good season right there 1800 yards for saquon 16 touchdowns they did a huge carry job for the giants man 1200 yards for sterling 1100 for slayton paris campbell new addition same with darren waller so giants definitely have a retooled offense looking pretty good especially in this simulation cave von dexter lawrence aziz all double digit sacks for the g's adori and belton with three 
interceptions to lead the team. Rodgers' first season on the Jets and the J team went uh, pretty decent. I mean, not the best. 35 touchdowns, 15 picks, and not the most yards. Less than 4,300, but their run game was doing damage. Brees and Etienne, a nasty two-headed tandem, combined for 25 touchdowns. And somehow Rodgers still managed to find 2,000 yard receivers. Ridley, Kirk, Wilson, right there. You have Ingram, of course, man. I'm, I'm liking this team. They put up some pretty good stats, man. Defense, Quinton Williams, 14 and a half, leading the defense. You have Josh Allen, Franklin Myers in the top three, Mosley with four interceptions, and also had the most tackles on the team. What went wrong for the Lions, man? Golf did not throw the most interceptions. They even got Sudfeld in there for a few games, man. 16 interceptions, just not the best showing. Montgomery had himself a nice season in Detroit. Him and Justin Jackson combined for 17 touchdowns. They had 2,000 yard receivers. Jameson, I guess he wasn't suspended in this simulation. You have Marvin Jones, of course, Amon Ra doing his thing on defense. Anzalone led them in tackling. Two guys with 100 plus tackles. Hutchinson, 11 half sacks, pretty solid. Four picks for CJ, GJ. He did his thing. Just wasn't enough to get them to the postseason. The P team led by Bryce Young, 40 touchdowns, 12 interceptions for the young rookie, 4,100 yards. You had Jones and Sanders. Nice one two punch. Aaron had 18 touchdowns, though, 1,600 yards to lead everyone. No thousand yard receiver, but all solid options. Four, five guys just about with 700 plus receiving yards, man. Henry was right there, 25 away. Campbell led them in tackling. You have Burns, obviously, leading them in sacks, man. That guy knows how to get to the quarterback. Gary was right there. Jair, Jeremy Chin, three interceptions apiece. The R's, of course, led by Lamar. 48 touchdowns, 15 picks, 4,600 yards, and a great completion percentage. Three yards shy of 1,600 for Josh Jacobs on the ground. 20 touchdowns, man. You also have to worry about Akers. Cup got a couple carries. Lamar, of course, does his thing. And speaking of Cooper, 1,400 yards, 17 touchdowns. I mean, my goodness. When you're on a team with Odell, Devontae, Mandrew, and you dominate like that, I mean, that's just scary. Good luck stop with his team in the postseason. Queen, Roquan, both had 100 plus tackles. Three guys with 17 plus sacks. Crosby, Jones, and Donald. I'm telling you, man, this team has the potential to win the whole thing. Three guys with four plus picks. Patrick Queen, Williams, and Marlon. Gino had a good season for the S squad. 4,000 yards, 39 touchdowns, only nine picks. Kamara, 1,500 yards. Him and Walker, another nice duo. Walker actually had more yards per carry. So that's kind of scary when you can, uh, you know, sub out Kamara and get someone that's even uh, doing better. Better, you know what I'm saying? Prior move, Thomas, Metcalf, Lockett, all guys with 800 plus receiving yards. You had Demario, most tackle on the team. Jordan Watt, both had double digit sacks. Hayward right there. Six INTs for Lattimore. Another scary defense to go up against. The Honey Badger didn't even start, but he was out here cooking. Tannehill for the tees didn't do uh, the best. You know, 3,700 yards, 26 touchdowns, only 12 picks, but you know when Henry is almost getting 2,000 yards, you're not going to have that many yards through the air. 23 touchdowns. Pierce was right there with five. You had Wood six yards shy of a thousand yard season. Schultz with eight touchdowns. I think he's going to do good things for the Texans. You had Traylon, 800 yards, man. The receiving numbers look better than I expected. I'll be honest. Denzel Perriman, most tags on the team. You had Simmons, Danico, both double digit sack numbers. Nelson, Jimmy Ward. I think they're an underrated secondary. And then finally, the V squad. Kirk Cousins, 39 touchdowns, a little too many picks, 15. But 4,500 yards, he was definitely slinging that ball through the air. 1,300 yards for Dalvin on the ground. Him and Madison combined for over 20 rushing touchdowns. Osborne, Jay Jettas both had 1,300 plus receiving yards, 14 receiving touchdowns for KJ. Addison, you know, the rookie, we had to get him in there. I try to add every team's first round picks. That's going to be the theme until next Madden. You know, I didn't want to go through all rounds, but hey, at least the first round picks. I, I feel like that's uh, good enough right there. Daniil Hunter, 16. Zadarius, 10 sacks. Davenport was right there. Four interceptions for Simba and the Hitman. Joe Burrow wins MVP. MVP for the Bs. Hurts and Lamar right there. Coach of the year goes to the Jays. OPOY goes to Joe Burrow. DPOY goes to Vaughn. So the Bs sweep all the awards in the AFC. NFC, Jalen Hurts got it for the East. Zayvon Collins, who wasn't even on any of these alphabet teams, ended up winning. DPOY, Daniil for the Vs was second. So here's a look at the playoff bracket. Once again, the only teams in here that are not alphabet teams are the Broncos, the Bears, who ended up the four seed, and the Cardinals who ended up the three seats. So somehow they advanced to the postseason. Let's see if they can keep it going past the wild card round. And no, it looks like we have nothing but letter teams left. The G's versus the S's, the Giants versus the Saints. You have the F versus the E's, Falcons and Eagles. The B's versus the T's, the Bengals and the Titans. And then the R's versus the J's, Raiders and Jets. So 
that's good. Our last eight teams are all alpha teams. That's what I wanted, man. Unfortunate for the P's. They lose in round one to the Jets, 37-31. Same with the C's. The Titans beat them, 41-35. Tannehill outplayed Patrick Mahomes, man. I thought the C's were the favorite, or one of the favorites to go all the way, man. This is a huge upset. The T's only had two teams. You saw their overall, man. I did not expect them to beat the C's, man. That, that's a huge upset right there. J's and the P's pretty evenly matched, man. Bryce Young, I guess that pressure was a lot for the young guy. You know, four interceptions. Can't expect a rookie to go that far, but he had a good season. Thielen tried. Okay, he did his best, but it was the J's that moved on. On the other side, the F's took care of the V's. 42-28. 35 touchdowns, zero interceptions, a masterclass performance. Him and McCaffrey, man, this team is looking pretty scary with Debo doing his thing. Ayuk stepping up, man. They kept Jay Jettas in check, kinda. 10 for 98 and a touchdown, man. You will take that all day. So now let's see what happens in the next round. Ooh, the T's keep on winning. They take care of the one seed B's. 38-24. What is going on? Tannehill is on a roll. Like him, Henry Pierce. I mean, they have a nice formula. Robert Woods stepping up. 19 yards per catch. Two touchdowns. Wow. This is another upset, man. I thought the B's or the C's would have won this entire thing. But now that they're both out, man, it's anyone's game. Credit to the T's defense because to stop Joe Burrow on that offense is not easy. You also had the J's lose to the R's. The Raiders move on. 42-21. Rodgers threw two interceptions, man. He had a better pass rating, but hey, it just was not enough, man. Jacobs and company, Odell, Cooper Cup, not even anywhere to be seen. Like, he was probably just a decoy out there freeing up other people. That's scary when you have uh, guys that can step up other than your best players, man. Look out for them. They're in the AFC Championship game. On the other side, you had the G's get clobbered by the S's, the Saints, Steelers, and Seahawks. Hawks led by Gino, who had a phenomenal game. Same with Kamara, three touchdowns, seven yards per carry. Walker had 10. I, I mean, the run game, like you're seeing the teams left have nasty run games, nasty defenses. Good season for the G's though. They made it pretty far, even though they only had one team to represent their letter. Daniel Jones, 400 yards passing, man. Nothing to be ashamed about. Saquon though, I, I don't know. Less than three yards per carry. That, that's something to be ashamed about, man. You gotta do better. But credit to the S's defense for keeping him in check. And then the last matchup, the E's took care of the F's. Letters that are literally right next to each other, and they had a very close game. Purdy did his thing, but Hurts and uh, the E's were just a little too much, man. Wow, the Eagles, 14-3 and on the season. Beat this team that's pretty much a juggernaut, man. I know they didn't have the best quarter, the highest overall quarterback, but the rest of the roster is, is just nasty, so I, I don't know. That's a great game. Both teams, uh, you know, definitely fought for it, but only one team can move on. Now, who do we get in the Super Bowl? Is it going to be the E's or the S's from the nfc and will it be the r's or the t's from the afc only one way to find out man if you haven't already you better go rep your team in the comments i should have said this earlier but make sure you put it in the comment section man don't cheat we have the e's versus the r's in the super bowl to decide the best letter man the t's had a nice run but they could not stop lamar and this offense Tannehill did his thing i think he is a little underrated man look at henry 2.6 yards per carry that defense for the r's definitely stepped up to stop the running game is no easy feat okay so yeah give them a lot of credit for that one Chandler Jones and all them are headed to the big game on the other side the E's barely squeak out a W Hurts having a good season good playoff run man four touchdowns only one pick Gino and company made it really far they fought they battled man the NFC is going to be represented by the E's though that, you know the Eagles they they made it there in real life now they made it there in this simulation just so you know there's no shenanigans no force wins nothing like that we're going to go through wild card divisional you can see it for yourself conference and, and now we have of course the super bowl all right here we go man we're gonna go all the way to the fourth quarter you have three teams on the r side the raiders ravens and rams somehow the e's have the lead after the first quarter man what is going on with this eagles team i know we're pretty talented but to have the lead against the team this good and, and all the teams they've beaten so far i don't know man hey it's make me feel worse that we did not win the super bowl in real life man. We're right there but mahomes greatness just outdid us unfortunately man 16 to 19 very close game the r's down 
three in the fourth quarter. Cooper Cup, nine catches over 100 yards. I think that's him in motion. They fake the Jets sweep. Jacobs can shake loose to the second tackle. Brings up a third down and four. It was like zone coverage, man. Good dot over the middle. They're inside the five. Chance to take the lead for the R's, man. That was Odell's third catch of the game. Came at a very crucial moment. Jacobs gives them the lead. How do the E's respond? They need a touchdown to take the lead back. First play. Hurts throwing a laser to AJ Brown. They're across midfield. We have reached the two minute warning, man. This is a close one in the Super Bowl, just the way we like it. You know what I'm saying? Second and inches. There comes the blitz for the R's, but Goddard's wide open. The E's take the lead. And now it's up to Tucker to send this one into overtime. No use even trying to ice him. I don't know why. Like, he's not going to get iced. He, he's, he's him. He's different, okay? And he has abilities, all right? Fourth down and eight. This is what, a 62 yarder, maybe? A 61? Easy money for Justin Tucker, but he misses it wide left. Oh my goodness. Arguably the best kicker of all time in the Super Bowl. The biggest kick of the season. He missed it. And the best letter in the NFL has to be the E's, man. They end up winning the entire thing. Jalen Hurts is a Super Bowl champion, and so are the rest of the Eagles, man. Great season from the R's. Who would have thought that it would come down to a missed field goal by the best kicker in the league? That, that's nuts, okay? But hey, man, you know, sometimes not the most realistic. And, and to be fair, it was like a 62-yarder. So it wasn't the closest, but that's like a 52-yarder for, for Justin Tucker. So I'm, I'm a little shocked he missed it. I was hoping for some overtime gameplay, but hey, still had a great Super Bowl. Great season. Fun experiment. Thank you so much for watching to the end, and I'll see you guys on the next one.